friends, neighbors, and of course, the YouTube comment section. Hello, welcome back. Um, so I've got an interesting panel on my desk today that I just finished up and we're using a interesting connector. We are using the Switchcraft EH USB 31 CFC MB. And again, in case you're wondering how uh, high tech the productions are here in the Billy universe of nerd, uh, I wrote it on a piece of spike tape because it's an interesting part number. Um, okay. I think this is an interesting connection. It is a USB-C and a D punch, uh, which is very helpful when you are living in a D punch world like this. Um, this is a generic panel that we make. Um, it's sort of a generic IO panel for monitor cases that are integrated. Um, it's just a, a 5278 inlet with four D punches. And it just allows us to sort of be in this world of, you know, I don't know what customers are building. And then, you know, from an integrator standpoint, it's really hard as far as part numbers and management and things like that go um, to, uh, to keep this stuff uh, separated. So if we did a, a, a specific part number for every single build, uh, it starts to get crazy. So we have this little, this little four by guy that we use um, from time to time. And uh, I think that it's, it's kind of interesting. So normally, when we're doing a USB-C, the bane of my existence as an integrator is the USB-C. Um, I use a company called DataPro for most things. And they make specific panel mount connectors that look like this. Uh, obviously, this is a USB-A. I actually don't have a USB-C in stock, but you get the basic idea. It's a, um, uh, it has little flaps right here. These are 440 nut certs that go in there, and then if you put it on a panel, it looks like this. And if you follow LM cases in any way, shape, or form, I am sure you've seen me use these connectors before. Um, and if you're not, shameless plug, LM underscore, uh, uh, LM underscore cases. That's our Instagram handle. Check it out. The bad thing about this is, because our metalworking is an eighth inch thick, um, it's a little bit too thick to deal to, to allow you to plug in a USB cable unimpeded with this. So what we end up having to do is we mill the back of this so that it's about half the size or a 16th if you're uh, keeping track. But it also makes us use things that are sort of more custom. Um, so while I was specking this particular case out, I thought, I wonder if a D-series USB-C cable exists and what do you know switchcraft makes one um, and this thing is actually pretty cool so the trickiest thing about USB-C is that it's not thunderbolt compatible unless it's a thunderbolt cable so there are a lot of panels that we make that are sort of stock panels that have USB-C's in them that use the data pro connection and if you'd like to see that as an example, click the upper right hand corner of your screen. Um, and I actually have text on those panels that say this panel is not USB-C compatible or the USB-C jacks are not Thunderbolt compatible. Um, and the way we get around that oftentimes is I will put a cable gland in the panel and have a regular USB-C cable that is within that, or excuse me, a Thunderbolt cable that's within that. So if you want a Thunderbolt connection for a monitor or any of that kind of thing, you have that. And then if it's just you know, a hard drive or anything else that's in USB-C world, um, you can uh, use the, the DataPro USB-C jacks. But I thought that this uh, Switchcraft cable was kind of interesting. And like most things and um, on, on the internet, if, if I'm looking for it, it's weird and esoteric. And then also, um, if I decide to make a video on it, that means that there isn't really any information available for it on the internet. So this cable falls into all of those things. Um, so it's it's pretty cool. So we'll take this thing apart so you can see it. Because what would a Billy video be if we didn't take stuff apart? So this is kind of just a feed through thing. And what I like about this is, is that it's molded. Um, so you can use this as a standalone cable, and then it just sort of goes into the, the, the D barrel housing, just like this. And it's relatively robust. So I would bet that Switchcraft probably has one connector chassis. 
and they just have variations to work with it because if you have metal working, <laughs> why are you gonna reinvent the wheel? And it recesses it in there and it's pretty cool. So it's a pretty simple cable. Um, this thing comes in a black and a nickel housing. Obviously for us, anything that I can do in the black flavor, I like to stay there. Um, and then, uh, yeah, it's just a molded cable. So, you know, the only bad thing about this is it only comes in three feet, which actually, to be fair, Data Pro up until a year or so ago only came in three feet as well. Um, and now they have, I think, up to 10. But, you know, it's USB protocol, so you can really only go up to 15 anyway. So uh, with this particular case, um, I have to build two of these panels. So what I, what I ended up doing with this is making a loom here um, and this is the uh, power cable, in case you're curious. I just haven't terminated yet. It'll go into a little fourplex. I summed this together with some uh, uh, TechFlex. Um, and then what we're going to do is, because I don't know what the customer is doing, because we're not providing the monitor and we're not doing the full integration on this, um, I don't know what the customer is doing, so I just loomed this together to add some strain relief here, uh, mostly for the HDMI jack that's on the bottom. And then I'm just going to leave this open. Then and I have a female-female coupler with another uh, Hosa braided uh, USB cable that goes on the other end. So, you know, if, they, if it's too long or there's any of that kind of thing, because you know it gets a little squirrely once it starts to get long, um, with uh, USB cables, I wanted to give them a point where it could be disconnected. So uh, the only thing that's kind of weird about it is that it's only three feet. But anyway, this is what it looks like all loomed up. But anyway, if you're interested in buying this, help your local case guy out. You can buy it from us at LM. You can uh, check the link uh, here in the upper right-hand corner of your screen or down in the description. If you want to buy it from LM's online store, you can. If you're interested in that, uh, I'm sure it's available in 9,000 other places online, but if you want to help your pal Billy out, uh, you can do that. So that concludes the uh, USB portion of the video. Um, so looking at the panel, uh, it, is, it is kind of interesting. Uh, one of the other things that we have on here that I think is a pretty cool little thing for us is in Hubble world, um, you, we use these all the time on all of our boxes. This is a 5278C recessed male inlet. Um, they make two versions of this. There's the 5278, which is the inlet, and then there is the 5279, which is the outlet. And like I said at the beginning of the video, in my attempt to make things relatively standardized in our Uber custom world here at LM, um, we have a little bracket that's, that goes in here. So that's, so if you notice, this is a true one inlet. Um, and we have this little bracket, which is pretty cool that we make. Uh, so basically, this is our 5278 to D-Punch series adapter. Now, I think this is clever. This, uh, you know, if I can toot my own horn here for one second, I think this is pretty clever. So, and we're doing different boxes and stuff like that that are punched for the 5278. Um, this gives me a D-Punch, which allows me to basically accommodate PowerCon in and out, true one in, because of course the fine folks at Neutrek decided to not make the true one outlet. <laughs> in a 15 16 d punch but hey that's okay i'm only mildly complaining uh but anyway we came up with this little bracket so if you're building something and you want this you can buy this from us as well check out lmcasesonline.com and check the link in the uh, upper right hand corner or the link below if you want to buy this um the other thing that's cool about this is if you ever change your mind um and you you know want to go from uh, a locking um Neutrek, either, you know, a True One or a PowerCon, and you want to go back to a Hubble, um, you can do that. And if you want to keep it locking, you can make it an L515 locking inlet as well, if you want to get crazy and stick within the uh, whatever size diameter hole this is. Uh, anyway, I have rambled on long enough and pitched long enough for LM Wares. Thank you for stopping by, as always, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Bye.